Defense attorneys Andrew Baldwin and Bradley Rosie relied on the Indiana Supreme Court to put them back on the case after they say they were pressured to resign last fall by Judge Fran Gull. In filings over the weekend, the defense team cites allegations of bias Judge Gull has supposedly shown toward their client and favoritism toward the prosecutor, even alerting prosecutor Nicholas McLeland that she was thinking of forcing Baldwin and Rosie out before the defenders knew they were on the hot seat. Now McLeland has made a filing calling for Allen's attorneys to be found in contempt for leaking crime scene photos and violating the court's gag order to not talk to outsiders or publicly about the case. It actually appears to be a pattern, a continuous pattern of leaks leading up to the release of the crime scene photos. And I think it also puts into the limelight a party that has parties that have been invisible uh, and they're the victim's families and their relationship to the leaks and the effect the leaks had on them. Judge Gall and the defense attorneys are already at each other's throats as both sides want the other off the case. McLeland's contempt filing weighs in on the judge's side of the debate, adding the state's voice to what it sees as defense misconduct. With the prosecution's response today, uh, the person who's going to resolve these motions is actually the same person whom the defense uh, alleges should be disqualified from the case. There is a backlog of motions that Judge Gull must wade through to get this case back on track, including suppression of evidence. But IU Law Professor Jody Madeira told me the first one may be to force Rosie and Baldwin off the case, which the judge tried to do last fall. And the state Supreme Court said she has a right to do, but only if she follows the rules. But I do believe we will be seeing efforts by Judge Gall uh, to provide notice of a hearing in which Baldwin and Rossi will have to explain why they should not be removed. Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News.